They're uh, upset about his waffling constantly on uh, everything. And this idea that he has to have less touches now, you're the one that wanted out of the situation in Orlando where you were the featured guy. So this is what I've ascertained that he won, that would make him happy. Highest paid player on a championship caliber team, first option offensive threat in a big market with no pressure, no responsibility, and no one to prod him from a coaching standpoint. And where do you find that in the NBA? What he should do is just say, I want it out, I want it here, I'm going to make it work here. Well, even, even just for example, in the past week, he apologized for complaining about his touches. He said he acted in it where he vowed to improve his demeanor and go out and dominate defensively. And all those things are right. And that's said it, but it comes down to actions have to speak loud at work. And, and frankly, in the last two games, he has looked more engaged as the way it gets fouled. But you should not have to beg an NBA player for energy, effort, and unselfishness. Because you're not getting touches doesn't give you the right to hold your team hostage by not getting your very, very best. And, and, and I would say this, when Gasol was asked to come off the bench, he doesn't have the right to mope around either. Hey, listen, you may not like anything, but I'll say this. If Minor Ginobili can come off the bench in San Antonio and never say one word, so can you. And when you look at Howard's capability, and you've talked about this, in fact, I want you to remember something that your brother Stan said when he, when he coached Dwight Howard, that he affects more possessions on both ends of the floor than anyone in the NBA. That's what he's capable of doing. He loved coaching him. And, uh, Howard has extremely successful years though. And you know what, Mike, it's funny. Somebody asked me the other day, to me, would you coach him? I would love to coach a guy with his level of talent and basketball IQ. But he's just right now, to me, he's been erratic. He sort of lost his way because he's focusing on things that are really to the detriment of his performance. He's the best center in basketball. And he should play that way. And just in the last week, with everything coming down, the right things were said, but until it's done, out on the floor, night in and night out, like he used to do in Orlando. And I think Brian is going out of his way to try to make the right play and help him, and that's good. But it clearly has not been an easy transition. Those two, they approach the game and the way they, their demeanor is on opposite ends of the spectrum. One is ultra serious about his profession. The other a little bit more lighthearted.